Expressions of change of state abound in Japanese. Two types of patterns are used for this purpose. a t a t a k a k u n a r i m a s h i t a h a r u n i n a r i m a s h i t a The first example uses an adverbial form of an adjective, ku form plus naru. The second example uses a noun plus ni plus naru. Both observe the structure, result plus naru, become. Here is how to form the adjectival type. Pay attention to the end result. Turn the result to a ku form. Now add the verb narimashita. Atatakaku narimashita. And one more example. Kaze ga tsuyoku narimashita. Here are some applications. Nikui and yasui attached to a verbal stem are adjectival endings meaning hard to do and easy to do. They undergo the same process. If you have not learned direct style forms, you can skip to page 10. Once you learn direct style sentences, you can do this. The direct style negative form also ends with an adjectival ending and can be used in this pattern. Hotel じゃなくなりました Likewise, 道がわからなくなりました This type can be used to express a habitual change if the result of the change contains a negative form. 肉を食べなくなりました Here is how to form the nominal type. Pay attention to the end result and add ni. Now add the verb なりました Haru ni なりました And an application. Shizuka ni なりました You can stop here and come back after Unit 41. The nominal pattern is used to express the habitual change too. Pay attention to the end result. Express it in the direct style. Add yo ni, yo meaning condition. Now add narimashita. This literally means it has reached a point where. Yasai o taberu yo ni narimashita. A change to a negative condition can also be expressed using the nominal pattern instead of the adjectival pattern. Nikudake tabenayo ni narimashita.